Hello, my name's Vicky and today we're going to look at a book and the book we're going to look at is called When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry. So look at Sophie's face here. She doesn't look happy at all. She's not got a smile like this, has she? She's got a sad face like this. I wonder what's making Sophie angry. Have you ever felt angry before? I guess staying in can make you feel a bit angry when you can't get out and play with your friends and things. Let's have a look, see what Sophie's angry about. Sophie was busy playing when her sn sister sn grabs her gorilla. Oh, there she is. Look, she's grabbed her gorilla off her. Sophie's pulling it back. She's not happy. She wants to play with her gorilla still. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It's her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatches the gorilla away, away Sophie fell over the truck. Oh no, you see this yellow truck here? Sophie's fallen over. I bet that made her really cross and probably a little bit upset as well. Let's have a look. Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? Oh, look at that cross face. She's really angry. I think she can feel it inside. When you can feel your anger inside, I think Sophie can feel it. She kicks, she screams, and she wants to smash the world to smithereens. So that means she wants to smash it all up into little pieces. She's so angry. She wants to hit things. She wants to break things. She's so angry. Let's find out what she does. She roars a red roar, so roar. So she's letting out a big sound. She's a really angry big sound. Look, it looks like fire in this picture, isn't it? That angry sound. So it makes it sound even more angry. Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. So you think she's going to explode with anger? Look, so her hands are together. She's feeling very tight. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry see what she does she runs she runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore so she runs out all the anger she puts all the anger into not breaking things not hitting people she runs she runs really fast then for a little while she cries so when she stopped running she sits down and she has a little cry Now she sees the rocks, the trees and the ferns. She hears the birds. So now she's stopped being so angry. It's that feeling's not so angry. So she started to notice other things around her so she can hear the birds and she can see all the beautiful things. Where she couldn't see that before. All she could see was that red angry feeling, wasn't it? But now she can see all the beautiful things around her. She comes to the old beech tree. She climbs. She comes to the tree where she climbs and she's climbing up because that's something she enjoys doing. So she's going to climb up. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. So she's watching the water. That's calming, isn't it? So the sound of um, the waves is a smooth, calming sound wind blows your hair it's very soft and gentle not that angry or that running feeling which is fast it's all very calm and a soft feeling i think i'd like this feeling better than that angry feeling the the wide world comforts her so just looking around makes her feel better calms her all down and makes her feel a lot better Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down. And heads for home. So she's going back home now. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. They're all pleased to see her. Look, they were probably worried they didn't know where she'd gone. And there they are. Everything is back together again, like a jigsaw puzzle. It was like a piece was missing when she wasn't there, wasn't it? But now she's home, it's all back together, it's all complete. And Sophie isn't angry anymore.
And she's happy at home and she's happy drawing her tree because that made her feel happy, didn't it? That made her feel happy when she was angry. I'm so glad that um, Sophie went out and ran when she was feeling angry because she burned off all that anger and then she was able to calm herself down before she went home to her family again. And it made her happy because I think if she had have shouted at her family or she'd had an argument, then she probably would have felt even more angry inside and probably a little bit upset. So I think um, what Sophie did was a good thing to try and find when you feel angry, to try and find something that you enjoy doing that can get all the anger out. And that could be something like running or it could be playing with some Play-Doh or it could be... Um, hitting your pillow because a pillow can't break or hurt anyone or um or going outside and singing at the top of your voice to get the anger out all these different things that you can do to release the anger that might help that was a lovely story about sophie thank you guys for coming and listening to me today thank you and i'll see you all again soon bye thank you bye